Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Victoria Physics. I hope you all are fine. Today we will learn uh, another experiment using virtual lab. You can see the window that is right in front of there in, in your screen. This is the window for the virtual lab where we will be performing uh, basic electronics uh, experiments uh, virtually, okay? And we have done quite a few of these experiments in our other classes. Uh, I will be doing uh, today the Zena diode as a voltage regulator experiment number nine over here. And these experiments, whatever I'm doing from this experiment list, uh, those are according to the syllabus of Calcutta University uh, Physics Honors fourth semester CBCS system, okay? And these experiments are also there in other curriculum of uh, most of the universities across India. So you can access, you can uh, do these experiments multiple times. This setup is free completely, an initiative of uh, the government of India. So you can just go through this section and uh, because it's uh, still the colleges are not uh, yet open. So you can just practice uh, the experiments virtually. So let us begin with Zenodiode as a voltage regulator. The first thing that opens up is this page where you have the theoretical section. Just uh, go through this theoretical part before starting the simulation. And over here, uh, they have provided from the basics of Zenodiode, what is a Zenodiode, the functions or the characteristics of Zenodiode. And the most important section that is the experimental part is based on this section only that Zenodiode as a voltage regulator. So the circuit is given, the necessary uh, working formula is also provided. You have to do the calculations using these formulas when college opens and when you do the practical in your college lab. So you have to write this entire theoretical section uh, in your respective lab files. And for the time being, when you are doing this experiment virtually, I would advise just go through this part once before starting the simulation so that you can understand what you are doing, okay? And then uh, is the procedure part. Uh, so as I always mention, if you do this procedure section stepwise, then the experimental part is not at all difficult over here. So just uh, go through this uh, three part because we'll be doing these three parts uh, in Zenodial, that is the line regulation, we'll be doing the load regulation and the Zena characteristics, okay? The first thing that we'll be doing is the line regulation. I hope you all know what is line regulation. So uh, in simulation part, you have uh, these five sections are there. So I'll be doing the line regulation, Zena diagram line regulation in this type of uh, regulation series resistance and the load resistance are fixed and only the input voltage is changing. So output voltage remains constant as long as the input voltage uh, is maintained above a minimum value. Okay, so uh, just a second. So this part is already uh, this window is already familiar because you know right by now that in all the virtual uh, experiments, you have this control panel, you have the circuit, you have this experimental table, the instruction section, which is same as that uh, provided in the procedure part, and you have the plotting section. So in this part, the circuit is being drawn. You don't have to connect the circuit. We'll do that in a later uh, section, that is the draw part. And over here, what you have to do is just uh, set the values of center diode voltage. So I'll be setting that at 5.6, which is the standard one which we use in our college laboratory for practical examination. So glide through this uh, glider very carefully because a small change over here causes a a uh, great fluctuation in this reading. After that, we'll be taking the uh, series resistance, that is RS value, we'll be taking as uh, 1000. Uh, you can do uh, with any other values, 
but provided you do the calculation with the working formula in the theoretical section, and then only try with a new set of parameters, okay? And uh, the load reg uh, resistance, I'll be trying to keep in at uh, 2000, say that is two kilo, okay? The next step is that to get the line regulation curve, you have to vary this DC voltage from zero. And you have to note down the values. That is, you have to add to table. So let's take the value uh, from zero. I'll be taking some arbitrary values. So let us take, say, suppose uh, 0.2. Exact zero I'm not taking. Then after that, say two. I'm just taking some arbitrary values you do on your own, say 3.5 or six, whatever it came, just glide through slowly. If you have any queries, you can drop your questions in the chat box or you can also write to me. And if you wish for any theoretical sections to get revised, you just go through the website link that is provided in the description box. Uh, over there, you'll find uh, different study materials and you'll get uh, a lot of question papers for your practice, okay? Just visit the website. Uh, the materials are all freely available. You don't have to pay any kind of subscription. And please share these videos as much as possible with your friends, with your uh, uh, with other students so that all benefits from it, okay? So now after 7.2, I have taken the value as say eight. I'm moving gradually because I don't want to make any kind of mistake over here. So now suppose I can increase the value at the table. Take two more values. Now, if I wish to, uh, let just a second, I'll explain. Now look at the table, what has happened from the initial voltage increased and then after 5.6, it remains constant irrespective of the input voltages, okay? So as I gradually increase the input voltage, what I saw is that the output was almost constant after a certain point of time. So this is the line regulation curve. And if you, uh, sorry, the uh, line regulation data. And if you want to see the curve, you just hit this plot. So you have a plot over here. That is the line regulation curve. It shows that uh, the variation of output voltage and the source voltage. And if you can see over here, that after a certain point, it is constant, it's almost 5.6, okay, throughout. So this is line regulation. You have to submit this entire part in your exam, including the circuit, including the plotting section and also the data. For the practice part, if you wish, you can also use the data that I have used and do your practice, okay? So moving on to the next part is the line regulation draw part, okay? This is the same thing that we have just done, but the difference is that over here, the circuit is not connected. You have to connect the circuit and then the rest of the thing is as it is, okay? So uh, let's uh, start the connection. I'll connect this point number one with point number three. Then I'll connect with this part, the ammeter, and this eight to 15. I'll connect 10 to 15. Okay, and 11 to 17, just I'm connecting the points. And 16 to 18, I'll connect. After that, I'll connect 17 to five with the meters and six to 18. Okay, 13 to 15, don't rush, just do because, uh, if you make any kind of mistake, you have to then delete all the connections. So uh, do um, slowly, 14 to 19, okay? Nine to 16, I'll connect this, nine to 16. And the last is uh, ground part, so nine to 12. 
Now uh, you have to check your connection. So check connection, it prompts that my connection is right. And they're asking me to set the resistance and the input DC voltage. So click OK. And just as what I did before, you keep this voltage, Zener voltage at 5.6. You take the resistance RS as 1000 and take the resistance 1000 ohm and this as two kilo and then do the rest of the thing, same as what you have seen in just a few minutes back, uh, change the DC voltage from zero to say around 20 volt. And each time you vary the DC voltage, don't forget to uh, click on add to table so that your readings are plot, uh, noted down in the tabular manner. And then finally, when you're done with your reading, just click on plot. So entire thing is same. Uh, I hope this line regulation is quite clear to you uh, by now. So uh, we will do the next part is the load regulation part and the characteristics part. So if you have any kind of queries, you please drop in your questions in the chat box. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you can get automated updates whenever I upload videos. And you can also uh, see all these analog um, experiments virtually in other setups like uh, in Multisim, in uh, uh, every circuit. If you wish to know those, you can also write to me. I'll provide you with the tutorials, okay? So we'll do the Zener uh, diode as a load regulator after this. Okay, thank you.